Hello, and welcome to the Call a Wallet. During this tutorial, we will show you how to create your own Call a Wallet, where you can send, receive, and store not only your Call a Coin, but your Bitcoin as well. We will also walk you through how to set up your 2FA. Let's begin. To start, I suggest you do this on your computer, as it will be just that much easier for you. First, you will go to wallet.callacoin.io. Now that you are there, you will press the Get Started button in the middle of the page. For this tutorial, we're just going to jump right into it, so we'll press the Skip to Registration button for now. Now we'll just fill in these fields. Please remember that these fields need to be filled in with your correct information. Your full name. the email address that you are using, and your password. Remember, you want to use a password that you'll be able to remember but is not obvious enough for someone else to guess. Please note that the password must include an uppercase and lowercase letter, also a number, as well as a symbol, and use a minimum of 10 characters. There is no voucher code for you to enter, so you can skip this box. However, you'll want to keep this box checked so that you can stay abreast of all the latest news coming from the Call of Wallet. We'll go ahead and press Create Account. Success! As you can see, an email has been sent to verify our account. We're going to go ahead and click on it and follow the on-screen instructions from there. So let's do that. We'll jump into our email. All right, here we go. Our email has been received in our email account. Go ahead and open that and we'll see there's a large button here that we can push to verify our email address. Perfect. It'll have us sign in again. We'll go ahead and enter our password in again. Click the I'm not a robot box, complete the recapture. And go ahead and sign in. When you first sign into your call wallet, <clears throat> you'll see that it requests a Google two-factor authentication. The Google two-factor authentication is an important step in your Call a Wallet. Each time you sign in, you will have to use a code from your Google Authenticator app. This keeps your wallet far more secure than just you holding your username and your password. If someone were to get your password, they could easily access your account. However, with the Google two-factor authentication, they would have to have your username, your password, and your smart device. That's unlikely. So the device name that we're going to use is our cell phone, because that's where I've downloaded the Google two-factor authentication app. You can find this in iOS and Android. We'll go ahead and push continue. We're going to use another device and you can see the QR code pops up here. Once you have downloaded the Google Authenticator app, we'll go ahead and open that. In the lower right hand corner, you'll see a plus sign. You'll go ahead and push that and it'll ask if you want to scan a QR code or enter, enter a setup key. We're going to scan this code. So we'll go ahead and scan that. Perfect. Now I can see it in my Authenticator app as the Call a Wallet and with the cell phone and it has the email address attached as well. I'll go ahead and push continue. You're not going to want to push continue until you have, you're have you sure that you have added this QR code to your Google Authenticator. Now we'll push continue and we'll go ahead and enter the verification code that comes up in the app for this device and account. 
we have successfully set up our Kala wallet. Now we'll go back to the dashboard. Perfect. Now we're in. Thank you so much for joining us today for this tutorial. If you want to know how to set up your KYC properly, please see our Kala wallet KYC setup video. Thank you so much.